Hey GED students, great news. Um, the series of problems that we're going to be doing over the next few days here are meant to help you with just about everything on your GED. Here's the deal. Your GED math test has two big skills on it. I mean, really, when you boil it down, it's algebra and interpreting word problems. Algebra and interpreting word problems. Those are the two biggest deals on the math test. And this is good preparation for both. Let's go ahead and take a look. It says Franco and his friends pooled their money to order pizza. Okay, you guys, they put their money together. Franco contributed $6.36. Mark put in four bucks and Jonathan gave $12.02. And then notice what it says. It says write an expression to represent their total money. I don't want you to find their total money. Rather, I want you to write an expression. A mathematical expression is what students usually think of as the problem. Now, <laughs> A math teacher is never going to call it the problem because that's, we call it an expression. But I don't want you to tell me the answer. I want you to write out an expression that would work here. So we want to put our money together. Well, mathematically, there's two ways to put things together. We could add. Remember, when we add, we can put together any size groups or we could multiply. And remember, when you're multiplying, <clears throat> One way to think of that is putting together the same sized group over and over again. So if you look at this, Franco, Mark, and Jonathan all have different amounts of money. So they're not the same size. They're different sizes. So I'm going to have to go ahead and use addition. It's really my only option here. So how could I put all their money together? Well, I could add 636, 4, and 1202. And that would give me their total money. B is the correct answer. All right. Um, stay tuned for more problems like this as we get a little deeper. I know it's relatively simple when it comes to addition, but sometimes when I write some more complex uh, expressions, it gets complicated for students. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.